That sucker is going to fit just fine. Maybe smooth, no problems. Today, uh, <clears throat> I've got something cooking over here with my business. That stuff's curing, and what I'm going to do is just kind of double check my table on this milling machine. You know, these cheap milling machines are not exactly what you call a bridge port. My kingdom for a bridge port. But anyway, this thing's good enough for prototyping and certainly for the spacer plate operation. I saw that one side of the table actually kicks down about a thousandth or two of an inch, and that's kind of kooky. So that may give you a little bit of a problem, but we'll see what the other set, other end of this table does as I kick in the kick in that measuring tool. And I like to bring it up to like ten thousandths of an inch. Yeah, you know, that's pretty close. So I think what I'll do is I'll stick to this end of the table. This end of the table seems to give me a little issue. Uh, yeah, we keep going from there. Look at that B. Get that B. Now typically I don't necessarily always put my stock down on the table like that. I like to use parallels to boost it up. But this is just the one side that I'm working with and when I start doing the actual sides uh, then I'll probably bank it up on some parallels. Alright, so let's get the right spindle in there. I'm going to use, uh, what is this, like a three-quarter inch R8. And uh, I'll probably use this thing here. This looks like a three-quarter inch. It's about as big as you can use on these machines, but I'm going through plastic, so it'll make quick work of it. Good enough for government work, as they used to say. So with this kind of plastic, um, I found it best to go at around 900 RPM or thereabouts. And the, uh, because we all know that I made the mold not even, I'm going to go to the lowest point on this stock and then try to mill it out from there and see what kind of a good flat surface I can get and see how much is left. So let's try it. Normalized. Got a weight on the end of that. Let me check my range here. Higher range. It's about 1,200 RPM. Going the micro measures now. Pick that up or not. Cutting through it like a hot knife through butter at this speed. Let's 
turn it off and I'll try to get the camera right up there so you can see it. There. You can see the nice flat area that I've cut. I'll come back and do all of this and try to get right down to the lowest point, which is that corner. And then I'll unhook this, spin it around, and get these clamping points. Yeah, so what I've done now is I've, I've done the original flat side and I went ahead and got my gasket for the base of the carburetor. And I wanted to make sure that I'm not running out of any kind of space. As you can see, that sucker is going to fit just fine. Maybe smooth, no problems.